Okay, regulation of gastric secretion. So what we see is that the biggest stimulation for gastric secretion is going to be stretch. So mechanoreceptors are stimulated by food stretching out the stomach. Um, we do see a brief cephalic phase. So in the, during the cephalic phase, um, the uh, enteric nervous system would be stimulated by central nervous system. And so the sight, the smell of food would stimulate kind of an initial uh, action. During the gastric phase, this is going to be triggered by how much the stomach is stretched out by the meal. So gastrin is going to predominate, and gastrin will increase the amount of secretion that occurs, and it will make those contractions of the stomach much stronger. The intestinal phase actually creates an inhibitory effect on the stomach. So it slows down the secretion, but it also weakens the contractions to allow that um, broken down food particles to kind of hang out in the stomach for a period of time. And that what we'll see is that food slowly exits through the pylorus into the intestine. So this intestinal phase is going to be controlled by uh, the small intestine. Um, so during this um, exit phase, uh, as the pylorus becomes distended, it's going to start by releasing just a little bit at a time through that pyloric sphincter into the duodenum. And we're talking about a few milliliters of stomach content. By this time, what we would have, um, we call it chyme. Um, it would be, you've all seen chyme because it's, it's vomit. So it's um, the secretions, the water, the acid that have been secreted by the mucosal lining of the stomach, but it's also the food, anything that's uh, part of the food that's been broken down. Now, as that little wave pushes just a little bit of that chyme out of the stomach and into the duodenum, the rest of that chyme is retropulsed or pushed back in to the stomach, so it goes through more mechanical digestion. So uh, regulation by the duodenum what we see is a combination of both stretch receptors and chemical receptors. What we, what we see is that, in particular, the duodenum is looking for either carbo carbohydrate-rich or fatty chyme. And the more carbohydrate is detected by the duodenum, the faster nutrients will move through the stomach and into the duodenum. And as fatty chyme is detected by the duodenum, that's going to actually slow down gastric emptying. And there's a nice happy picture of kind.